Oh god. Oh Jesus. <gasps> what the hell was that? I don't like when my light turns off because I don't know where I am. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, Grojan here, and today we're going to have a look at a game called The Something in the Ice. Now, I don't know anything about this one either, so we're going through a few games that I've just come across on Steam and, yeah, Google, just to see what we could find to play. So, we are going to go and start a new game. In 2015, a team of scientists from the Arctic station Zarya took ice samples for research from a depth of 2,000 kilometers. Just as they were about to return to base, a severe snowstorm began. We're going to be trapped out in the ice. Once they reached the base, they went down into the old bunker, as security protocol instructed them to do. An old bunker in the middle of nowhere, trapped in ice. Okay. Well, I might have to lower the settings down a little bit on this one. Powerful snowstorm came outside. I don't even remember such strong storms. So following heavy storm safety protocol, we went down into the bunker beneath our base. Okay, I've just lowered them the settings to high from extreme. So we'll see how this goes. So, first things first, it's a bit of a mess. Let's have a little look out here. In here, we've got like a little bunk room. There's a torch. We can't pick anything up in here. Uh, let's see. So it doesn't look like there's anything to do in this room. Let's get going. Let's see where we end up. Kind of like a weird drunk type thing. Right, this door. This is the door to the basement. I don't need to go in there now. All right, so where do we need to go? There's a doorway over there. Just bumped into some chains. Is there a note on the table we can collect? There's not. Oh, there's someone here. You gonna talk to us? Listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. Victor. Are you talking about the Arctic or this Cold War bunker? About the bunker? Yes. It's scary for me here, too. And regarding your question, you remember that strong storm that started and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Yes, I remember. The question was rhetorical. God, in two years with us, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor. Well, I'm sorry. I'm kidding, okay? What about those samples we found? You better ask our microbiologist about that. Okay, I'll go and ask. Where is she? Right, so we got another little room. This is going to make me seasick. <laughs> like motion sickness. Well, she's not in here, so let's get going. There's a first aid kit there if we need one. Oh, there she is. There's our little friend. Hello, Maya. How are things going here? It's good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What did we find? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. What do you mean by microorganism? Looks like we found what we were <laughs> looking for, Thomas. We need to examine the samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Okay, I'll go and contact Zvezda Station. The storm should have reached them by now. I'll find out if they went down to the shelter. Okay, so we've got some little heaters, so at least we're going to stay warm. So we got to go and contact the Zvelda station and see how they're getting on. So we've got to figure out where we can do that. Oh, we can open this door. Nothing in here, but we can open it. This is our bathroom. Toilet. It's minty as hell. Can we not open this one? Oh yeah, we can. This is loads of food in here, nice. At least we're not going to go hungry. And around this side, we have got a little power generator room. Okay, so that's not where we got to go. Can we get around to that left-hand side? Yeah, there's a door there. There's our radio room. Where's the station? Zaya calling. Can you hear me? I repeat, where's the station? Zarya calling. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Zarya. Are you doing there? Did you manage to go down to the shelter? Yeah, we're here. We're doing fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. He doesn't seem to be doing too well with this tight quarters. Who even sent him down here? Damn scientist. 
Well, he heard someone. I heard that someone from the government insisted on his transfer to the station. Well, of course they did. By the way, Miles said you guys found something interesting. Don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to find out what we found. Okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across yesterday. A rock? <laughs> All right, you keep us informed too. Over. Okay. Over. Right. Let's go and have a little check down this way, see what we find. Because we've looked at all them other rooms. Oh, we got dogs! Can we play with them? Can we let... Oh, don't run away. Hello. Oh, and the nice dogs. We got three little pups in our little bunker. I don't know where they came from. Were they here before us? We're going to shut you in just to keep you safe. Oh, no. Don't open the door again. So we don't have to drag it, we just click it and it opens and closes. Right, so down this way we've got... The door doesn't open, that one's locked. I don't know what it says, it looks like it's in some kind of... Is it Russian? We've got a door there that we can't go through. Okay, so maybe we go back and speak to our people again. Okay, so the lady was in here. Oh, they're both in here now. None of you want to talk to me then? Where are we going? What are we going to do? We've got a little computer there. Doesn't look like it's working. We've got a fan going though. I need to pour some tea and rest a bit. Okay. By the way, it's glowing up yellow. <laughs> right, there's our little cup of tea. The cup looks empty. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, Victor, why the hell are you creeping up? I almost poured boiling water on you. Sorry, Thomas. Maya's calling you. She says she's discovered something. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Take our drink with us. Can we drink it? No. Okay, Maya. Hey, Thomas. What's up, Maya? You just won't believe it. And you better put that mug on the table. Take a look at this. Uh, where's the table? I can't put the mug on the table. We've got some little micro microorganisms. Is that what she called them? I don't really know what I was looking at. There we go, we needed to see. What did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. How is this possible? I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Do you have everything you need here? Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Okay, well, you keep researching and um, I'll go and take a rest. Let's take a rest. You're lazy. Hey. Okay. Collect the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbi Microbiology. Tell them what we found, my, uh, okay, I'll go and have a little rest, maybe then the storm will be over and we'll think about how to send the samples to the lab in Hawaii. Wasn't letting me move for a second there. So where was our little radio room? That was down this way, wasn't it? Do we need to contact them first? I think it might be a good idea, we can't go that way though. This one was our radio room. No, I think we've got to go and have a rest first. We're going to go and sit down, drink our cup of tea, and enjoy our time here. So our little room was just over here. There's got to be somewhere to sit. There we go. Sit down on the couch. Have a rest. Nice little holiday this so far, isn't it? What was that? Uh, where did he go? Gotta check this room just in case. No, you're not there either. Where are they? Where do you reckon? We might as well check the first rooms. That's our way in and out, but no one's there. Okay, okay, okay. That one's still locked. Oh, this one actually opens. 
Nothing here, but it sounds like a pulse. Something over there making noise. Nothing in there. What was that, though? We just heard something over here. And check the radio room. Oh, there they are. Stupid piece of. What ha what's happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. Oh, it's probably be probably because of the storm. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. Yeah, okay. I'll try and fix this thing. You can do go and do something else for now. Are we good with radios? Guess we'll find out. So, have any of you played this? What did you think of it? What was that noise? Is that the dogs we can hear? You okay? Are you bored? Well, of course it's boring in here. Can we give them some food? Oh, your bowls are empty. Do you want to eat? I'll bring it now. Where from? Where was the dog food? I'm not seeing it in here. There must be some dog food around though, right? Size them bags of dog food. Hey there, puppies. We're coming. Not that one. No, oh, so far, not a lot's happened. Hey, there we go. Put some food in the bowls for you. There you go. Good job, guys. Bon appetit. As soon as the storm will end, we'll all come out of here together. We'll breathe fresh Arctic air. We'll play in the snow again. Be patient just a little bit longer. Ah, look at them. All happy. Food and drinks. So we gotta go and find our mates again now. Are they gonna be... There she is, there she is. I'll go pour myself a cup of tea and then talk to Maya. All we do is drink. <laughs> you alright well, there? What are you going to do? I'll rest a bit and continue trying to fix the radio. That's not what I'm talking about. The radio works. It's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm. I'm talking about you and Maya. What you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. Don't make this so thick. We're scientists and we don't have time for office romances. Well, well okay, why are I like you it. Waiting? Life is too short. I once missed my chance with a beauty from the Institute. Why did you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up. Nope. It was a very long time ago. I see. She worked with me on a project. And we seemed to get along. Then I asked her out and we had a good time. What happened next? Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. And then here. So three years have passed. He said it was years and years. Three years isn't that long. Yeah, our work is merciless when it comes to our personal lives. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together, and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. Okay, Victor, you're right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her and see how the work, with the, uh, see how the work on the samples is going. And maybe we can talk about something else. I'll try to cast a bait. Yeah, yes. Find out from her how things are going with the samples, and don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> what a joke you are, Vic. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. I was already told about this. Okay, don't be upset about that girl. She's also a scientist. She understands everything. If everything went well for you, then maybe she's waiting for you. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. Those samples. Samples. I got it. God. Hey, right, were we still going to go make a cup of tea? Doesn't look like we are now. We're going to go back and talk to Maya. Good night, Maya. Hey, Thomas. You won't believe it. Maya, how are you doing here? I discovered something interesting here. These organisms respond to light. How's that? I did a little experiment. 
I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Activity dropped sharply, but when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? What? <laughs> I don't know what I was waiting for then. They multiplied. This will look a lot better if the lips just moved a little bit, even if they weren't in sync. Wow. Yes, can you imagine? I kept the box in the dark just for a minute, and they doubled in number. So they multiply in the dark. How is this possible? So they reproduce in the dark? It looks like it. And I noticed something else. Hmm? When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. Cannibals. Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. Sounds interesting. That's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. Okay, I think that's enough work for today. We did a good job, especially you, Maya. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. It's already late. We should get some sleep. Maybe the storm will be over by morning. Yeah, I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Yeah, me too. Well, okay. I'll go to sleep then. Well, I guess I will too. Good night and sweet dreams, Thomas. Good night to you, Maya. So, we gotta go and find out where we're sleeping for the night. I should have asked her for tea or something. What a fool am I? Oh, I know where our bedroom was. It was that first room at the start, wasn't it? Over this way. Who's snoring? <laughs> I didn't see anyone else in there. <sighs> Bedtime. Oh, there he is. He's well away. Isn't it handy that there's just three beds for the three people here? In an old bunker. <laughs> I know. Let's get out of bed and go for a walk on our own. Kind of feel like the torch is something we want to get. But we can't. We can't. Hey, we don't have a light on us unless it's... A... No. No. All right, let's go and check. It's got a little dark here. What happened to the lights? Probably the wiring is down. I'll ask Victor to check. Oh, God. That is dark. Right, we're not going that way. We're going to follow the lights. Oh, we're not, because I can't see you. Right, we just knocked some chains. What's happened in here? Um. Well, that's not good. Not good at all. This is where it goes bad, right? It's damn dark in there. I'm not getting anywhere without a flashlight. Right, I knew we needed the torch. What's that hole down there? I oh, know we can't see it. I think I saw the flashlights in there. We did. F. Hey, right, there we go. We can see now. But well, first of all, I want to see what that hole is in the floor. Look. We can't crouch. Oh, yeah, we can. Can't see nothing in there, though. And they're banging. Damn, great. It looks like all the power has gone. Good thing I have a flashlight. Oh, what's all the... Where's the blood come from? Victor, are you here? Victor. These games, when you walk into a room and the only way out is back where you just come from and you, you've got to turn around. It's nasty. Right, nothing there. Oh, this opens. What was this one? Oh, this is that room with the weird humming noise. I've, I've got goosebumps now. I don't like this. Right, we can open this door. Nothing in here. We can hear stuff banging around and things. Right, that room there. That, the ra that was the... I don't know. What, I can't remember what that room was. The radio room. But then why is there before... 
This is Vesta yeah. Station. Over. Yeah. Who's Vesta? I hear you with interference. We have some problems with electricity Listen. over here. Sorry. Do you hear what we found? Very dangerous. Vesta, how to hear interference? Please repeat. Over. Sorry. I repeat. The stone that found. This. The remains of. Vesta Station, please repeat. Heavy Be interference. I can't hear you. Be careful. Find. Maybe. Radiation background simply colossal. Your Which sample is possibly related. Be careful. Found. Holy shit, stupid old radio. It's Fucking storm. I can't get understand shit. Well, great. Now the connection's completely gone. I could make out a couple of words. They were saying something about their find about a stone. It seems that there was something else, something about radi radiation and danger, and it also seems that there was some word ancient, but I could be wrong. Well, that was some kind of nonsense. I hope everything is okay there. Right, let's get going. Let's get going. We've got to go and find Maya, and I forgot what the other guy was called. Whoa, the dogs are barking or something. You okay, pups? You're barking at something in the vents, but we can't get in there. Everything's fine, don't be afraid. I sounded like the barking went different then. Like this one's stuck, but there's loads of blood on the floor. Loads of blood. And we can't go anywhere else there. Back around this side. I wonder where Maya and Victor went. Yeah, that. It is that hole in the floor. Did we not check this door? That one's locked. Storm is raging outside. I don't want to go out. It feels like we have been everywhere and we cannot see anything. Something in there, but we can't get down far enough to check. Are we missing something? I saw something. Oh, what's this? Loads of these vents are open. Okay, so we haven't just got a torch anymore. We've got a lamp as well. Which makes things a little bit brighter, but at the same time, it's kind of a horrible little glare. Okay, so we just come back into the dog's room, and I don't know what happened then, it just says, That's it guys, don't be afraid. Now you've got more light than me. You'll have food and water, so be good little dogs when I look for Maya, while I look for Maya and Victor. So we needed to bring this little light for the dogs. But they are barking at this thing there, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. So now we've got to go and carry on looking for our friends. But I was walking around so much. We can hear something over there. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. Oh, what's all this? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> what the hell was that? Oh, my God. What is this? It looks like some kind of growth. They are organic. I need to find the guys as soon as possible. I need to check... The room with the generator. I think I heard something from there. Oh, our food has all been took over as well. Right, which was the room with the generator? It wasn't that one. Was it this one? No, that room's still okay. Is it this one? That's not the generator. That's just some oil and pipes and stuff. Right, we can't get through there. 
That was our living room quarter thing. All right, well, we must have missed the generator room. I pressed that twice. Still doesn't open. All right, so this end of the, the bunker seems okay still. That was the room, the medical room. Oh, I'm getting so turned around in this place. That's not it. That's not it. <sighs> Dogs are still okay. They're all just having a little nap. They're all just having a little nap. They're okay. Oh, the door's opened. <gasps> this was the generator room. Now it's clear why the generator turns off this thing is everywhere. Can we turn it back on? Oh, God. Would you even walk in this? Would you? Answer has got to be a complete no. No, not even a little bit. There's still snow there. Dogs are still fine. Is it having a shower? I don't think crawling under here is a good idea. If that was where the light was coming from, what about our food stores? Right, so we've checked all these rooms down the side, haven't we? I'm not sure where we're meant to go next, but let's head back up towards the start, because we've just looked through all these buildings, all these rooms. Them ones are all good. Oh my god, this is our water. Whoa! <laughs> the light scared me then. <laughs> this thing is spreading on the alarm and rates. I wonder what it is and where did Meyer and, Meyer and Victor go? I'm starting to worry. It's growing really fast, isn't it? Right, that room's still okay. I need to check the exit from the bunker. Maybe they went outside. Oh, it opens. Let's get out. Let's go. Oh, we're locked in. We're locked in. Doesn't look like these doors are open. They can't be opened at all. Snow flew into the cracks between the doors and froze. Well, we're stuck with some creepy whatever it is. And it feels safer. Well, what? Why is it lighting up red? Oh, we're going down into the basement. We're going down into the basement. Is that wet? Water? Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Can hear people crying or screaming. Groaning. Ah. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? We can't go anywhere. Ah. Open, open, open. Get out, get out, get out. Let me out, let me out. Ah, it's, it's, ah. Left control, crouch. Ah, oh, this is biting us, biting us. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ah, oh, again. Are we dead? What the fuck was that? It seems like something underwater bit me. Did it kill us? We pass out on the stairs? I don't know. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. It's spreading everywhere now. These growths, they're already everywhere. Why are they barking again? I need to check quickly to see if everything's okay. Oh, the dogs. The poor dogs. Wow, this, there's going to be no room for us to move soon. What 
the hell just happened? Right. Okay, we're coming, doggies. Oh, God. Oh, just getting dragged into the hole. Leave them. Shit, no. Stop setting your lights off. Alright, we send it on. We send it on. Let's go and check the dogs. Got dragged in there. Got dragged in there. The noise is absolutely horrible. Right now we're we've been in all these rooms. Let's just go and check in the generator room again. No. Ah! I don't like when my light turns off because I don't know where I am. <laughs> that door is still wedged open a little bit but we can't I keep getting stuck when we go there something's dragged the dogs into the ventilation hey, we need this radio working I need to try and contact the Zvezda again station Zvezda is that how you calling? I don't know if you can hear me, but we have an emergency here. Two of my team are missing and I can't find them. Also, there's some kind of evil here. It seems something killed our dogs. There's something strange, organic... There's some strange, organic substance everywhere. Zvezda, please answer. I don't know what to do. Zvezda, please, please answer. Well. No one's helping. No one's helping. I need to get out of here. This thing's already everywhere. It's kind of Last time we came under here, it hurts us. It hurts us. Oh, no, we can't get in that door anymore. It's the noise. That sounds nice. Right, we're not going back down there. Fuck that. Right, still no way out. Still no way out. I need to clear the snow, I can't do it with my bare hands. It seems there was a shovel in the bunker somewhere. Somewhere near Maya's laboratory. Hey, we're gonna go back and get the, the shovel and start digging the snow. Yeah. Every time you go somewhere and come back, it's different. Hey, this was the lab there, but where was the shovel? Well, it's not here now. Is it? We're not seeing it. That's what if there's a fire. That door's not openable. Like, there's no sign of a shawl there. It's so dark. We're going to be stuck here forever. There's nowhere to go. Our bedroom's alright though, we can sleep here. We're going to have to go downstairs. There's nothing there by the lab. The only place left to go is back down here. I don't want to. We can't go in the water no more. Well, that's a relief. So whatever we got to find is up here somewhere. The shovel has got to be somewhere around. That's too dark. It's too dark. <laughs> We haven't got any rooms that we can go into anymore. 
Okay, so I must have missed it. It must be here somewhere. Let's get under here. It's definitely... Oh, there's an... Oh, it's an axe. Oh, there's, we got a shovel. Oh, God. What was that? That looks like a proper little alien, that. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Might want to shut the doors. I need to hurry up, but I don't want to be here for a second longer. I think I heard the dogs are the alive. Oh no, stick our way out. Come on, come on. There's something in the ice. <laughs> oh, we're outside. But you know what? I think that is a good place for us to finish off. I think um, it's been alright, you know. It hasn't been too bad, but everyone, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying the series. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up, drop some comments down below, let us know what you think. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.